Do you remember the fascinating old days of analog film movies? If you look closely, you would find grains and other inconsistencies in them. But now, camera technology has come a long way. Those are now capable of providing almost noise-free, sharper looking footage. But still, when we talk about cinematic footage, we don't usually mean overly sharp video footage. Just like how strong storytelling requires an element of conflict, shots that can capture the attention of viewer's eye require some sort of unevenness and aesthetic inconsistencies like grains, blooming, annihilation, and so on. Yes, we can do that manually, but just think how much time that would take. And if you're not an expert on editing videos, there is also a learning curve involved. So to ease up all your hassles, Dehancer has brought us a film simulation app that can make your videos look more cinematic without being an expert on video editing. And in this video, we will discuss the Dehancer film simulation app and how it can make your footage more cinematic in no time. So with that being said, let's begin. Before applying the Dehancer film simulation effect, we recommend you go through the basic tweaking. For example, after importing the footage in DaVinci Resolve, I created notes for basic adjustments. First, I converted the footage into Rec. 709 and then applied the Dehancer simulation. As you can see, the simulation instantly applies some effects to the footage. Dehancer comes with tons of features and camera presets. The first section is about the input. You can choose from Rec. 709, Rec. 2020, Asus and other formats. You can also select one of the supported camera profiles. Dehancer supports a range of camera profiles from prominent brands like Arri, Sony, Canon, RED, etc. You can also choose between different recording formats. But here, I'm satisfied with the Rec. 709. And there are many other options like temperature and tint, and you can change it according to your preference. But for this footage, I'm happy as it is, so keeping the settings unchanged. Next comes the film section, and this is where things start to get a little interesting. The profile tab includes a bunch of cinema camera profiles you want to emulate in your footage. So, if there is a particular camera that you like and want to bring the same feeling of recording with that camera, this lets you do that. For this clip, I will go with the Agfa Color 100 as I think this film simulation is more appropriate and goes well for the feel I want to convey through this footage. Now, I think it needs to tweak the temperature and tint a little bit. Just a subtle touch can make a big difference in the dehancer. Next, we have the Expand section, which is all about adjusting the highlights and shadows of your footage. After applying the film effect, I think the shadows are a bit blown out. So, I'm sliding through the black point to make the shadows a bit more visible. I'm not going to touch any other slider in this tab, as I think the highlights are good to go. Then, we have the Print tab, which basically controls exposure, total contrast, color density, and saturation slider. And there are many film paper effects from the previous days. I'm just switching across the options to find a suitable print effect for me, and the Kodak Endura glossy paper looks good on my clip. There's actually no hard and fast rule here. You just tweak according to your want. The following section is the color head, which includes sliders of all the primary colors. This section lets you create a different vibe in your footage. As you can see, you can make your footage look cooler or warmer. Alternatively, you can also make a color tone prevalent by using those sliders to get the exact tonal look you want. Besides, you have the option to choose those sliders individually or together as a group. Now, suppose you have tweaked the slider and introduced a different look into your footage, but you have overdone it to some extent. And if you again tweak those sliders, the colors might change. So in that case, there is an impact slider that lets you decide how much of the color effect you want to be applied in your footage. One of the most distinctive features of film recording is film grain that's unlike the overly sharp footage you get from most digital cameras today. And Dehancer lets you introduce those grains into your footage but in a very subtle and more controlled way. The size slider lets you control how big the noise would be. For this footage, I'm keeping the size as it is. And just a little tweak with the amount slider, now that's perfect for me. But just to show you the effect, I'm exaggerating it a bit. Next, we're going to talk about halation. And if you're wondering what halation is, well, it's an old film effect that influences the highlights of the footage and makes them look glowing orangey. To show you what this effect exactly does, let's look at another footage. Here I'm just sliding through and making slight adjustments to the car light, going through all the settings to find the sweet spot. And now you can see the before and after look. Previously, the lights were flat. Now, 
they look a bit more lively and cinematic. Bloom is the film artifact that causes the highlights of the footage to be more glowing. If you're familiar with the effect that a Pro Mist filter creates, the result of the Bloom effect will also be well known to you. With this tool, you can precisely adjust the details, spread and other parameters, giving you more flexibility while editing. And I'm going too far with this effect just to show you what this effect does to your footage. And as you can see, the lights seem more spread and glowing than before. And with that effect applied, I think I'm done with these clips. Though there are many more effects in the Dehancer like the film breadth, vignette and others, it's not necessary to apply all the effects in a single clip. So that was all about the Dehancer Film Simulation app. Overall, it's a one-stop app for creating film artifacts that give you footage a cinematic look found in classic movies. So what are your thoughts about the Dehancer app? Let us know in the comment section.